Hey everybody, it's me, Hey, um, I know you all have been waiting for this, it's my tutorial for how to rip models from, uh, Nintendo 64 games and turn them into paper models, and, uh, sorry it took so long, but I'm sure it's been worth it. So, um, uh, there's a lot of stuff I gotta cover, so I'll try to hurry. First of all, you're gonna need a bunch of software, um, you're gonna need some sort of editing software. Uh, I use Blender because it's really awesome and it's free. And um, if you use Blender, you're also gonna have to have a plugin to import um, VRML files, which is in Development Wiki. Uh, scroll down here. Go to Scripts. Uh, scripts catalog scroll down go to import and you find VRML 97 and here it is then you just follow the link and download it it'll come with a instruction guide on how to install and you're gonna need um, unfortunately to install this you're gonna need some more software you're gonna need Python and you're gonna need um, MX text tools, it'll give you a link, and simple parse, it'll give you a link for that too in the instructions. So you're gonna have to install first, let's see, you want to install Blender and Python first, then you want to install MX text tools, and then simple parse, and then you put the file in your plugins folder. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, let's see. Um, Alright, and then for the ripping, you're going to need 1964 emulator, um, and you're going to need Lemmy's plugin. Um, I'll probably put the link to that like in the description or something. And uh, you're going to need some ROMs. I'm not going to show you how to get those, but um, I'll be using Super Mario 64 for this example. Um, if you don't own the original copy of a game, you're only allowed to own a ROM for 24 hours, otherwise it's illegal. So it's okay to download it temporarily if you just want to rip something, but you can't keep it for a day, or longer than a day, otherwise you gotta get rid of it. So anyway, alright, let's see, download all that stuff, and you're going to want to install Blender, install Python, install 1964 and uh, once you have those installed, install uh, the MX text tools uh, install simple parse and then put um, no, not that one uh, this one okay um, put the VRML import Python file in your Blender scripts folder. Um, what else is there? Let's see. All right, Blender Python 1964. Oh yeah, let me plug in. All right. Um, uh, you, all you have to do is take this Lem D3D8 plugin and put it in your 1964 plugin folder and then you'll be ready for that all right um next you're going to need to create a folder just on your c drive called vrml um make sure you get that vrml if you give it misspelled or whatever it'll just crash every time you try to rip anything and this is where it'll dump everything so um, just to remember that. All right, um, go ahead and open up 1964, and go to plugins, change plugins, and you want your plugin, your video plugin, to be Mimu 64 Graphics Combined Debug, because um, that's the one that can rip stuff. Um, so open the ROM. 
It's me, Mario. It'll probably go a little bit slower on mine since it's uh, running the screen capture and stuff too. All right, and I've already set up controls and all that, so all I got to do is start. All right. All right, here we go. Inside the castle here. Yay, let's just say I want to rip inside here. And let's just say I want to get a toad. Yay. All right. So, what I'm going to want to do is just keep it here. And when I find a frame that I want, just like when he's on the ground, go to plugins, video settings, and click export VRML. And um, now just wait for it to find a frame that you want and pause and wait until this bottom bar go back goes back to that. And that means it's done exporting. So go to plugins, video settings, and disable that. Alright, so now you can minimize that or close it if you're done with it. Alright. Um, and in here, I've already ripped some stuff, so I have this already here, actually. Um, I already have the file here. Normally it's named output, so you're going to want to rename it. I've already done this inside castle, so I'm just going to delete the file. Alright, so now in this folder you'll find a bunch of images. That's all the textures that are in the area that are you, that you ripped, all the loaded textures, that is. It doesn't, um, it doesn't capture any non-loaded textures. Okay. So now I've got this file here, inside castle.wrl. I'm going to open up Blender and go to File, Import, and now what you're going to want is you don't want VRML 1.0 because that's a different um, format. That is something else. You're going to want Virtual Reality Modeling Language 97. And it may also be called VRML97. That's what I had it on my other computer. I don't know why it's different on mine. But anyway. Alright. Choose it. And I'm going to do remove doubles. Alright. And go to um, VRML. Inside Castle is what I had it named. And let me import. Um, this may take a little while. There we go. So let me select all. First of all, um, I just want to show you everything's rotated because on the N64, um, everything was, uh, or they had the Z and Y X axes flipped. So um, let me just try to basically get this right. There we go. Um, all right. So now, um, if I, let me do fly mode here so I can show you the inside here and there, let me, oh, slow down, there we go. Now there's my Toad and Mario. Okay, so first of all, delete uh, anything that you don't want. So pretty much I want all I want to keep is toad, so I'm just gonna select toad um, and then do control I for invert and then delete. So now I have toad here. I select him. Um okay and Um, first of all, select all of the object and hit Control J, which will join it because by default each um, each uh, what's the word? Each material, each texture on the object will have a separate material, um, just so you don't like um, have too many because uh, that can make Blender crash. But that's um, 
not a problem at the moment at least and um, so yeah let me do uh, center move it to the middle shift C and let me add a camera and make that the camera zoom out here and now let me add a hemi All right, so now if I render, you can see we've got Toad right here, and his textures are kind of screwy, but I'll get into how to fix that in a second. And so first off, what you're probably going to want to do is save it, and I had one, but I'm going to have to override it anyway. Wow, where is it? Here it is, Super Mario 64 Toad, and I wanted to override that anyway. Whoa, why is the camera so big? Alright, alright, his face, and what I want to do is open the face image. Same with this, I just select the hat with L for linked and open the dot image. Alright, and now, now what I want to do, I just make sure I have my object selected, go down to image, consolidate into one image, okay, and set the name of the image that you want. If it has the two backslashes, it'll automatically be put in the same file that the blend file is in size okay and then this will pop up and it will fix it all right so now it has recalculated um all this so if i were to um yeah anyway yeah so now it's recalculated the images and it has saved um, the image for me and it is this one Super Mario 64 Toad now I'm going to edit it in GIMP alright now while I'm waiting for this to load let me show you what you basically want the images to look like if you remember alright here is one image. It has just one face. You notice which pixels are part of it. And then there's also this. It's one dot for the whole image. That's all you need. All right. So now we got GIMP running. And here's the image I want. So what I'm going to need to do is do a color pick. I just take a paintbrush, I guess. And let me just erase um, anything else that I that is a repeat because that's the that is what's causing it problems. So And this can take a little while if you want to get it to look pretty good, so um, now let me just save this. And if I go back into the into Blender and I uh reload the image 
now it fixes it and my toad is done except for there's a few weird faces I'm assuming those are just white so um, it wouldn't be too hard to fix and there we go there's my toad model yay and now now you may have a hint of which papercraft may be coming out pretty soon <laughs> so there you go yeah that's it so thanks for watching um if you didn't already know I'm gonna have a bunch of other tutorials just for how to use blender and stuff um, so watch those if you haven't already because um, then you'll be able to use blender and then you can combine these two combine blender with this method and then you can create your own paper models which would be pretty cool so yeah. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching and all that. I'll see you later.